What's up, everybody? It's Pacheco here today at Golden Corner AMC. And today I have a very special guest, the one, the only, Mr. Mercedes prodigy, Alan Fuentes. What's going on, everybody? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, just straight off the bat, um, while I was introducing you, I, I, I saw that, you know, Mr. Mercedes likes to call you his prodigy. And I was wondering why is it that you think that he calls you his prodigy? He's been raising me. He's been raising me since I was a little kid, so that's why he calls me his prodigy. Yeah. Now, I was wondering, how old are you? 17. 17. Now, is it is it is it is it fun being 17 right now? Yeah, it is. Well, uh, I'm just trying to be 18 already because the only thing on my mind is just going pro. I can't wait to have my first pro fight. So. And I'm, I'm gonna make sure that I'm I'm there for that. And so, uh, I wanted to speak. You know, uh, you know, are you? Uh, now I noticed you speak Spanish. Are you are you Mexican or you know what is that? Mexican. Yeah. Mexican. Have you have you been to Mexico yet? Yeah, I've been to Mexico. Nice. Okay, so what, where specifically in Mexico have you been at? León, Guanajuato. León, Guanajuato. Yeah. Nice. I'm uh I, I've been to Mexico. I'm from uh Morelia. Oh really? Yeah. So I got a lot of family over there. Yeah. I love Mexico, man. Oh man, Mexico's nice. It's, it's nice scenery, you know, beautiful, and you know, you know, with 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 your Mexican culture. And heritage, you know, what do you think about Milwaukee, and, you know, in general? I love Milwaukee. It's just the the weather here is crazy. It's like it's like really nice one day, and then the next day it's like just so full of snow, angels and snow. So yeah, I don't. It's just crazy the weather, but I love Milwaukee. I'm not sure you guys love Milwaukee. You know, it's my city too, and you know, I, I hate the weather too. Uh, you know, like yesterday it was nice. Today it's a little chilly, and you know, one, one second is it's all nice and sunny and beautiful. And like you said, then the next day it's, it's all snow. And I'm like, damn, man, I don't want to drive in the snow because it's scary. Right. And um, do you do you have a license? Do you drive? Or? Yeah, I drive. I got, I be driving a truck. I got my license. Yeah, you, you be yeah. driving a truck? Yeah, I, I drive a truck. Nice. What type of truck is it? It's a 4x4 Tundra. 4x4 Tundra? Yeah. Damn, that's actually really nice. Yeah. And, you know, uh, how was, um, how was your life at home? Uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, my life at home, this is like my second home too. Uh, the boxing gym is like my second home, but my home, my, my life at home is pretty good though. And 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 I, you said when you, we, we were talking about you being a prodigy, uh, he, you said he's been raising you since how, how old? Uh, ten years old. Since ten years old, how how you how you come to meet Mr. Mercedes in the first place? Uh, I wanted to come box, and I had came and signed up. And, uh, I was training here for maybe like two years and then he finally decided, you know, like, like, man, this kid's something. So he just started, you know, buying me food. He started taking me under his wing, so. And you, you always, you always stood by, you always stood by his side? Yes, yeah, so I always stood by his side. I never went to no other gym, you know. This is the first gym I ever came to, so. Still the only gym I come to. First and only? Right. Do you, do you see Mr. Mercedes as a, as a father figure? Yeah, of course. He's like a father figure. He, he's like a life mentor for me, too. He, he. Uh, he helped me my whole life, you know. If it wasn't for him, you know, this gym, I don't know where I'd be right now, to be honest with you. So, that's that's nice to hear. And you know, uh, how was how was your relationship, you know, with with your parents, you know, and coming here all the time? Do they support it? Do they not like it? Yeah, they support it. Uh, my mom, she's more like on the, you know, she doesn't really like like the idea of me fighting all the time, you know. But my dad, he supports me all the time, you know. He wants to come watch me sparring all the time. He wants to make sure he's at all my fights, you know. He'll go out his way, you know, he'll call off a day at work, you know, he wants to see me fight all the time. But I don't know, my mom, she supports me still, but it's more like, you know, she just doesn't really like seeing me get hit and stuff like that, you know, how moms are. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I know that feeling too. When, when I went to go compete in tournaments, you know, my mom, I almost went into the, went into the, went into like this little area that we had and she, she almost stopped the fight because she couldn't take it. I'm like, <laughs> but, right. I know, I know how mamas are. You know, they they love their child. They don't want to see him getting hurt. It's it's hard for them sometimes. Yeah, it is. And you know, I don't I don't blame them. And you know, uh, on the on the topic of you know everyday life, how how school? Uh, school is pretty good. It's well nowadays it's pretty good. I uh, I go from twelve to three. It's a different school I go to. It's uh, pretty far from where from my house, so it's like thirty minutes every day. And then come back, it's like an hour driving every day, but. It's pretty good though right now, but back then it, it wasn't that good though. I was never really too bright in school, uh, especially when I was younger though. I was always getting in problems, you know, getting in fights. Uh, it was also why I also joined boxing because I just loved fighting and there was always a problem in school. So 
I thought what better way to take my my anger out of the gym, you know, hit the bag. So hit the bag. Right. Yes. And, you know, it's, it was great that you had that mindset at a young age, you know, because if it wasn't for that mindset, you know, oh, I want to come to the gym, I want to punch the bag, you know, I want to learn how to fight, you know, you probably wouldn't have been here, you know, if it wasn't for that. And, uh, you know, it's an awesome thing because, you know, we wouldn't have such a great fighter such as yourself right now, and I wouldn't have been interviewing you right now. Right. And, you know, that's, that's great to hear. Um, you know, on the topic, on the topic of fighting, uh, how, how many fights do you have? Uh, 32 fights. 32 fights. And and uh, what was what was what was your first fight like? Uh, my first fight, I can't remember too much about it, but it was. Um, I remember the nerves I had about trying to enter that ring. It was my first fight. I was pretty nervous, and you know, especially when we were driving there, I was nervous, man. But you know, everybody's first fight, they're nervous. You know, you it's, it's a big crowd watching you. So, but now though, it's like I'm just so excited for the fight. I can't just wait till the fight happens. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I could I could understand that feeling with the. Right. With the nervousness, the tensions, you know, and I, I, when I when I feel that way, I, I tend to try to use that as an advantage, you know, being scared, and you know that's awesome. I'm 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 looking forward to you know having my first fight. In and, boxing. Yeah, in boxing. Yeah, because you have a MMA. Or? Uh, I used to do MMA, but um, you know that's that's off topic, you know. Okay. And um, mm -hmm. uh, did you did you try any other sports besides you know boxing? Uh, before boxing, I did. I tried. Uh, my dad tried getting me into baseball. I didn't really like baseball too much. Uh, well, well, first I did soccer, then it was baseball. I didn't really like the two of them, but uh, then, but those were more like uh, sports my my parents wanted for me. I didn't really like them. So, mm -hmm. but then I, I wanted to do boxing, though, and I came to boxing you know, when I was ten years old. I told my mom I wanted to box when I was ten years old, so I came here. And you know, on 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 that topic of. You know, uh, always wanting to box. Do you do you do anything else besides boxing? You know, like in your free time outside of, you know, outside of you know training, and actually, matter of fact, before we talk about that, what, how is training like here? You know, what is it that you do on a daily basis? How is your morning regimen? Your afternoon, night time? It's the best. I love training here. My my routine is is usually like I'll I'll wake up, uh, I'll get my running. Uh, after I get my running, I'll have a little healthy breakfast. Uh, I'll go to school for a little bit. Uh, it's not too long, and I'll come right back to boxing, you know, and get some more work in with the guys here. And yeah, my experience here since I was 10 to today, it's the best, like, um, the best gym, you know. So. How, how, is, um, how is, you know, uh, your relationship with other people that train here? Are you guys very close? Do you guys, do you guys tend to talk with each other, you know, have a good time? Or are you guys very distant, you know, might keep to yourself, mind your business and just train? Well, the the guys here that I train with, they're they're like brothers to me. I've been on them since I was really really young, so it's a it's a really good connection because they they understand the hard work and the sacrifice you have to put in here too, and I do too. So that's why we connect so good. But usually when we come in here, we we mostly don't talk at all. Like we'll we'll probably just get to work in. We'll my, we'll usually get to just work, not talk at all. You know, we'll do the talking after the training, after the sparring, whatever it is. You know. But when we're here, it's just business, you know, we just work, you know, talking. You know, come in ready to train, keep right. all that outside stuff on the outside, and keep boxing in here, just yeah, boxing. Yeah, it's very quiet in here, it's just working. Like, you, you don't hear you no know, conversations or no side talking, it's just working, so. That's, that's, that's great to hear about, you know, having all that, uh, keeping that mindset of, you know, keeping all that stuff out there and then keeping only boxing in here because I feel like it would allow you to clear your mind and be able to focus more on training. Right. And, you know, on, on you know on top of on top of training and boxing you know I, I wanted to ask as well do you do you like to do you like to um what is it oh, man, let me try to find a word do you do you like to let me say do you like to do you like to um think about any other ideas you know like, like when you become a professional fighter you know do you what you mean like uh like, do you have any other, you know, any other futures? Do you have like a business plan or, cause you know, Mr. Mercedes, he likes to talk about setting up a future. He likes to talk about being able to speak correctly and speaking well, you know, he wants to be able to show you how to be a businessman, how to talk your way into things. Yeah, when I'm older, I for sure want to be a businessman. You know, I want to, uh, I want to own my own gym when I'm older. I want to be a coach, you know, cause it's just boxing. I love boxing. My, my life is boxing, so. What better way, you know, to become a coach, you know, know more about boxing and have my own companies, you know, have own 
businesses in different places, you know. So I, that's something I would love to do. But my main goal right now is being a world champion, though, for sure. That's the only goal I'm focused on. Is I got to go through all these little ups and downs and the amateurs to make that happen. So. And, and what is it that what is it that you're gonna, you know, because you're, you're a very talented fighter, a very amazing fighter, and I'm, I'm definitely believing that you will be a world champion. I appreciate from, that. from what I've seen and from what I've witnessed. What is it? So once you once you get your world champion, you know your belt. What, what what's your next step after that? You just keep going. You know, after I get my first belt, it's the same thing. I'm gonna be in the gym the next day after I get my belt. But yeah, it's just take over multiple divisions. You know, become undisputed in the division that I got pro in. Take over the next divisions. So yeah. So the brand never stops. The brand never stops. Yeah, it doesn't. It's all year round. All year round. That's the only thing. The only thing you think about is oh, I want to be a world champion. That's the only thing you wanna. That's the only thing you wanna do. This you know? isn't like you know. No, it's not like you know. You don't play boxing. You know how people say like, oh, I'm gonna have a basketball game. This ain't a game though. It's like when you, when you're doing this though. This is like year round. This is like a lifestyle. Like this is like something that's like, it's it's not like any other sports. Like you gotta have like that dog in you to actually do this though. Like to actually sacrifice your life to do this. So. Yeah, you know this ain't this isn't this isn't no this isn't no hobby. You know, it's not, yeah, it's not you know, people think that they can come in here, you know, oh, hit the bag, have one fight, have two fight, and then just call it a day. But you know, that's that's not how that's not what boxing is. You know, if you want to be a boxer, you got to be committed all the way. You know, it's either go home or go big or go home. You know. Yeah, it's definitely not a hobby. It's go big or go home. But I have multiple people trying to challenge me all the time, and it's normal. You know, people see this on their news feed all the time. You know, they see boxing. Boxing's really hot right now, so they wanna. Uh, they want to challenge fighters. They think they could. You know, this isn't basketball. You just pick up a basketball. You know, shoot a basket and you know get a soccer ball. Shoot a soccer ball in the bas in the you know the goal. So it's not like any other sports. You got uh, people challenge me all the time in this, and I don't uh, take my time away to you know reply to their comments because uh, I I definitely have people that criticize me. I have people that support me, but it just comes with this though. It's like that's what boxing is. So. I accept all the things that comes with it. And and you know I wanted to I wanted to, you said that people people challenge you, right? Right. And I, I've 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 seen and I've uh, I've heard that you have a video actually out there where some dude challenged you and you hit what like was it one million views on the video? Yeah, it, it it's a short now. It's like there's a short. There's like plenty of multiple videos, but one of them is like three point eight mil. The other one has like a mil. My coach has the same one. It's like a mil again. So. So how 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 did that happen? You know how how I just wanted to. You know, understand, and you know, right. I wanted to know how how that whole entire situation happened because a lot of people were saying how you know it was fake and you know it was all you know stayed out. Yeah, there's multiple videos made about it. People think it's fake, but it wasn't fake at all. Like I was like, what happened was that uh, my coach invited him to come train with us because he, I think, I guess he was an MMA fighter. Or something. I didn't know who he was. Like mm -hmm. I never met him in my life, and I guess he wanted to come train. But it was during the fight week. I was fighting. That Saturday, I think it was like in the week. It was during the weekdays. Like, I forgot what day. It was probably like a Tuesday or something. But I was losing weight. I was in the in the sauna over there. I was losing some pounds. Like I was dead. It was after workout. So I was already running my business, losing weight, and I just see him training. So I'm just checking him out, you know, just seeing how he hits the bag, you know, because mm -hmm. he's just sitting down. So then he comes up to me. He's um he's trying to challenge me. He's like, man. You you look like you looking really soft or something. He was saying like I'll hit you with that left hand, the right hand. <laughs> it, it was funny though, but I was laughing and then he was trying to like really challenge me. I thought he was playing around, but then he tried challenging me really. But my coach overhears it. He's in the ring. He's um he's doing mess with the with the boxer, and then he says like you can challenge him. You can challenge him. <laughs> it was funny and then he said um he said if you can pass. I think the the video. I think he said if you can pass like two rounds. Or a round with Allen, you know, three minutes. Uh, you get a one month free membership at, at the gym, like you know, and you know the the memberships here. There, I think it's like five dollars per month. So he said, "Oh yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Really easy, really easy." I didn't know who he was. Uh, mm -hmm. He just put it in front of me, so I just did what I did. You know, he said two rounds. And I, okay, I was just training. So that's what happened, and it went. It just skyrocketed. It went viral. Uh, and what was what was, what was the what was the outcome of those two rounds? What'd you do to him? I was just applying pressure. I was dead though, but I was like people don't know that. But I was dead though. I was just still working. Though. I was just mm -hmm. trying to get him out of it because I know he wasn't a boxer. He told me he was an MMA fighter before he got in. So I was like, yeah, you're not lasting two rounds. 
Yeah, you know how. And did he? Did he also? Because uh, I, I remember also seeing another video on the on the YouTube. Did he? Wasn't it? Did he also challenge Mr. Mercedes, or was that somebody else? No, yeah, he challenged him too. I think it was um before he even challenged me, because um, my coach he he got very offended by that, because you know if you're a coach and mm -hmm. you hear somebody challenging a boxer while they're losing weight, you know you're gonna get offended. So he got he got kind of mad about that stuff and he said you know we can get in the ring with me before before you know, you know if you want to challenge him you gotta go through me so go around with me or something and two rounds and then he said okay i'll go one with you with you with you i was like wow like really man this, this so and then i got in the ring with him and it was like just a round you know a round pass and it was just i was the champ man so oh, you, <laughs> humble, you humbled his ass ain't yeah, you yeah what, it's not like I'm trying to bully people, or that's what we do. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, that's just what happens. Yeah, yeah, some people like to take, you know, kindness and softness as a weakness, but. Yeah, I don't like doing things like that. It's just like, it just happens. So people, he came in here, he challenged me, that's the outcome. I don't, I don't know why people, you know, they, they, I don't know why people, you know, they like to go to other gyms and, you know, they like to think that they're the shit, you know. And, you know, they're over here talking shit like, oh, I could take you, I could take you, I could take anybody, you know. And then they right. get humble so fast. And, you know, I, and definitely when I came here for the first time and I sparred you, I was definitely humbled. You right. know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come in here boasting about anything, but I came in here thinking that I knew, I knew what I was doing, right. and obviously I did not because I, I, I left that place with a busted lip, and my hair hurt and oh, spitting when, blood. When I sparred you? Yeah, when you sparred me the first time. Yeah. And you know, it was a, it was, it was a very, it was a very, it was a very good experience. I enjoyed it, and you know, it made me, it made me show you showed me what boxing really was, and you know, and that's, you know, that's the difference, you know, because I came from, I came from another, I came from another sport, another, yeah, another industry. Sport, yeah. And I came here thinking, oh, you know, I did striking, I do striking, I do all that. And, you know, I could come in here, I could show my skill. But, you know, I came in here, oh, I was flushed. You know, it's boxing is an entirely different sport. And, and a lot of people don't understand that. People are like, oh, you know, MMA fighters can beat boxers. But, you know, if you go, if an MMA fighter goes in the ring with a boxer, it's, it's an entirely different thing. Same, yeah, it's, it's totally different. Same thing if a boxer goes, it goes into the octagon. You know, you're not a you're not a MMA fighter, so you know it, it's gonna be like the everybody knows what the outcome is gonna be of that mm -hmm. stuff. But yeah, what you just said about all that is very true. Uh, people don't know the sacrifices we got to put into this. They think it's easy, but it's just really not though. But I'm not somebody you know that uh, be challenging people or put that thing type of stuff out there. You know, I just like working by myself and just being humble. You know, I'm very humble. You you're very you're very. Uh uh, humbled and you know and uh, a man that you know you know where you are you know who you are and you know what you can do but you're not one to go out and boast about it you know you're not one to you know show off your ego and you know you like to you like to you like to mind your business but if somebody you know somebody comes in here trying to challenge you you gonna sum what's up you yeah, gonna... yeah it's, if you want to challenge anybody it's me you know if you want to come here and challenge you don't want to challenge anyone challenge me if you're coming in here and it's like you know you think you you this and that you're challenging me though Cause this is like, this is like my gym, you know, I grew up in here. So I feel like I said, you gotta go to me before you trying to go to anybody. Absolutely, so, man. You're the superstar of this place. You know, they got a, they got a poster of you up there with, right. you know, with a bell and everything. You know, you're the, you're the, you're the, you're the face of the gym. And you know, I, I, and I, and I believe it, you know, you're a very, you're a very great fighter. You're a very yeah. talented fighter. And, and you know, a couple, a couple of days ago, your coach sent me a video actually of you when you were about, I think maybe 15, 14. And I was watching it, and I was, I was, I was wild, you know, because how long, how far you came from, from, from when you were 15, and it, it, it really motivated me to, to keep on coming, because, you know, just last year I was 15, you know, I was right. exactly where you were at right now, and, and you know, I wish I came here sooner, and I wish I did more, and you know, just seeing you at a, at a young age, and then seeing you now, and seeing you, be having 32 fights, you know. Right. You're, yeah, there's plenty of people that don't understand like why everything you hear is recorded, but that's the reason why everything is recorded. You know, as you said, you got motivated from that. So that's one of my main goals and my coach's goals as a trainer. You know, we just want to motivate people and, and we just want to um, push people in life, you know, not just as a boxer, but as a um, as a person, you know, to be to be good within yourself. You know, just have a good heart, you know, and be good to people. Mm -hmm. You know, spread love and positivity, but don't let it get taken advantage. Yeah. And you know, it's it's great that your coach records everything because it's history. Right, you it know? is history. You know, in the future, people are gonna look back at that. So exactly, you know, when 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 you one day you world champion, you know, it's crazy because then people are gonna be able to go to this YouTube channel and be able to scroll down and see you when you were fifteen, 
right, right from where you are now and they're just gonna be like wow this is this is history this was a legend you know this was yeah. a, a prodigy in the making yeah and you know that's awesome because you know you know you know a lot of boxers you know they like to make documentaries about themselves right, right? like yeah, movie, they, you know that's yeah. that's gonna be very useful and it's just it's just wild and i'm glad you know when i when i came here for the first time yeah i, I was it was recorded of me sparring you you know you know when i when I when I become something, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna be grateful being able to come back and look back at, you know, how, how I was when I first came here, and it was it was an insane thing. It was an it was an amazing thing being able to experience that and being able to see you come and grow and everything, and you know, and for the futures to come as well. And I feel like the fans are gonna really love that. I feel like everybody's gonna love that because you have a very good and a very rich personality that that enlightens everybody. You know? Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, you you have a very goofy personality from what I witnessed. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm a very I'm a very goofy guy too. I'm just I'm just shy, and you know, from you know, it, it's just it, overall. You know, when I come here and I see you guys, I see you, Carlos, Shamari. You know, it's a very it's a very good very good environment, very positive environment from what I witnessed. And you know, it's it's great to have that in a gym. You know, because a lot of people, you know, they're scared to they're scared to come and they're scared to you know experience something because they're nervous you know they're nervous that they're gonna be judged but when I came here I wasn't I didn't feel judged at all I felt you know I welcomed with open hands right yeah that's what this gym is you're not welcome with open hands I think up there when you walk in the gym there's a poster that says hard work commitment purpose walk through these doors is the best team ever assembled and that's everything in this gym is true you know that's it's motivation all around you know this is this is just a positive environment to be around like I don't know how you wouldn't want to be around this uh, being a boxer, this is the best place you could be to be a boxer, you know, just uh, loving people all around you, you know, and hard work is what anybody would want mm -hmm. if you're a boxer, you know. Yeah, absolutely, you know, uh, you know, watching you, watching you spar and watching, watching your fight from when I, when you had a couple fight, uh, fight a couple weeks ago, it really motivated me, you know, I, and I wonder, you know, what, what is it that motivates you on a daily basis to come here every single day? To be the best, to be the champ of the world, you know, what, what, what is it that, what is it that you motivate yourself with? It's, it's really my, my 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 parents, my family, my coach. It's like I I just been through so many. Uh, well, put them through so many tough times. I just wanna um, I just wanna put everybody out of what any any situation we're in right now. And I just wanna make it for everybody. You know, my coach. He's gonna take us up there. He helped me through my whole journey. He he's the one who raised me here so, since I was ten. So it's everything thanks to him. You know, if it, if it wasn't for him, I don't know where I'd be at right now. But my motivation is definitely him, my uh, my parents, my family, and the situation I'm in right now. I just want to take them out of this because I know I put them through plenty of things in the past with school and things like that. So absolutely, you know, who doesn't want to who doesn't want to help their family? You know, take them out, being able to move to the suburbs. You know, have a big old nice fancy house. Yeah. You know, being able to support your mom, being able to support your family. You know, being the breadwinner and everything. Right. And you know that's that's understandable, and you know that's that, that's that's what I like and. And it's, it's, it's something that's very amazing. It's something that, you know, your coach is able to do for you. You know, your coach made a promise to you. And if you're able to show your discipline and your respect and you're able to come here every day with the utmost respect and the, the most motivation, you came here hard working, your coach, you know, he'll, Mr. Mercedes, he will take anybody to the top. You know, if you, if you're, if you allow him to, if you allow him to, you know, if yeah. you give him what he asks of you. That's why this gym is so different because in other gyms, it's, um, it, you got to be like, you're basically like uh, your own trainer, you know, that's just gyms, you know, they just give you a max to hit, but like in here you have guidance though. Like, it's just, if you're in here, it just depends on you, you know, if you actually want to do it, you want to become a, a world champion, you know, that's that's on you, you know, because you have everything you need in here. You mm -hmm. got everything in here, it's just like, do you want to do the work, so. You know, exactly, you know, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, this place has guidance because, you know, a lot of kids need it. You know, it's, 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 it's harder to, it's harder to fix a man that's already broken than to than to teach and to learn a child to become a great man. And, you know, and you know, that's something that's great because, you know, when I went to go train somewhere else, you know, it was just like you said, it was just me hitting the bag, you know, I'll I'll spar, but I wouldn't really learn anything, you know. I just I just came, nobody sp spoke to me, I had no I had no guidance, I had no I had nobody looking out for me, I had nobody, you know, telling me how how to do things, how to control my emotions, my feelings. You know, and it's, it's very great. It's a very great thing to you know be able to experience that, and being able to have someone to rely on. That's 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 a very great thinker because you know if you if you ever go through something, you know, and you have like a hard time, you can always call up your coach because he'll always be there for you because you know, that's your second father. You know, he'll right. he'll be able to talk to you and 
and you'll be able to be be comfortable talking to him and to and to express your feelings, you know. Mm -hmm. But for anybody that's watching this, though, just know that you can do anything. You're uh, you're capable of anything you want to do. You know, if you have a dream you want to accomplish, just know you can do it. You don't have to have anybody in your life to be able to do that. It's just it's just based on you. If you want to do it, you can do it. So I just want to say that. You know, absolutely, and I feel like. I feel like that's, that's a great way to end things off on a note. And I want to say personally, it's a it's an amazing experience to be able to meet you, yeah, talk you. to you. It's awesome to to be able to see you come from nothing to be something, and then eventually I'll see you be everything. You know, to be the champ, to be the world. That, yeah. And it's awesome to see you that. And it's awesome that fans get to see this because yeah. this is history in the making right now. And I just want to say I appreciate it. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. See you guys. See you guys.